hello everyone welcome back so in this video we are going to learn about a new concept which is called effective mass effective mass of electron and hole so effective mass of electron and hole if you are first time to my channel please consider subscribing so what is effective mass of electron or hole in a given semiconductor so when the electron or hole is in stationary that is if it is not moving then mass of electron so mass of electron is given by 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg okay so effective mass is the mass of charged particle that is electron or hole when they are moving in the semiconductor so when they are moving in the semiconductor so when the charged particles are in motion then the corresponding mass of electron or hole is called as effective mass of electron or hole okay so this is about the effective mass so effective mass is the mass of electron or hole when they are in motion okay so always effective mass so if mn represents the effective mass of electron and emp represents the effective mass of hole so if it represents the effective mass of electron and hole then these values that is the effective mass of electron and hole is always represented in terms of m that is mass of electron so this value is m so m is equal to 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg okay so always effective mass are expressed in terms of mass of electron okay so the most widely used semiconductors are silicon and germanium so we have to remember the effective mass of both silicon and germanium for both electron and hole so first we'll see for silicon so for silicon mn by m is equal to 1.08 so mn is equal to 1.08 into 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg okay so similarly so this is effective mass of electron in the case of silicon similarly mp by m is equal to 0 0.55 so effective mass of hole in silicon is given by 0 0.55 into 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg okay so similarly in the case of germanium so for germanium so for germanium mn by m is equal to 0 0.56 so the effective mass of electron in the case of germanium is given by 0 0.56 into 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg similarly mp by m is equal to 0 0.37 so mp is given by 0 0.37 into 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg so these are the values of uh, effective mass in the case of uh, germanium for electron and hole respectively and these are the values for uh, mn and mp in the case of silicon okay so this is how we can find the effective mass of electron or hole in the case of semiconductor okay so now we'll discuss about the concentration of electrons in conduction band and the concentration of holes in valence band in terms of effective masses okay in terms of their corresponding effective masses we'll discuss now okay so i'm really sorry students so mp by m in the case of germanium is 0 
I'm sorry so I have told you uh, it is 0 0.37 but it is actually 0 0.29 only please make the necessary change okay so now I will discuss about the equation for the concentration of electron in the conduction band so in the conduction band what is the concentration of electrons okay so because uh, in n-type semiconductor uh, the electrons are majority carriers so what is the concentration of electrons is given by n is equal to nc into e power minus ec minus ef by kt okay so this is the formula here ec represents the lowest energy level lowest energy level of conduction band and EF represents the Fermi energy level Fermi energy level so we'll discuss about this Fermi energy level in the next video and K is Boltzmann constant Boltzmann constant and T is temperature okay temperature in degree Kelvin okay so temperature in degree Kelvin so NC here NC is a material constant so NC is a material constant which is or which depends on temperature which depends on temperature okay so we need to uh, remember the formula only the formula for nc which is given by nc is equal to so 2 into 2 pi k bar into mn by h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 into t power 3 by 2 into t power 3 by 2 per cubic centimeter okay so just remember this value so nc is equal to 2 into 2 pi k bar mn by h square 3 by 2 whole to the power of 3 by 2 into t to the power of 3 by 2 so totally now n becomes n is equal so if you substitute these values where h represents the Planck's constant so h is Planck's constant so if you substitute all these values and representing in terms of uh, uh, effective mass will get it as nc is equal to 4.85 into 10 to the power of 15 mn by m whole to the power of 3 by 2 into t power 3 by 2 per cubic centimeter okay so if you substitute this so n is equal to 4.85 into 10 to the power of 15 into mn by m whole to the power of 3 by 2 into t to the power of 3 by 2 into exponential minus ec minus ef by kt so this is the concentration of charge carriers this is the concentration of electrons in conduction band similarly the concentration of holes in valence band so p is given by nv here nc represents the material constant in conduction band so we are representing it with nc and here nv represents the material constant in the kinds of valence band so we are representing it with nv into exponential of e power minus ef minus ev by kt okay so this is the formula for uh, this is the formula for concentration of holes concentration of holes in valence band okay so this is the uh, con formula for concentration of electrons in conduction band okay so uh, ef is again fermi level ev what is ev highest energy level highest energy level in valence band ev represents the highest energy level in valence band ef is fermi level k is again boltzmann constant t is temperature in kelvin so again nv is given by 2 into 
2 pi k bar here we will write it as mp because it is for holes holes are the majority carriers in p type semiconductor so mp h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 t to the power of 3 by 2 per cubic centimeter only mn is replaced by mp in this case okay so similarly nv is again in terms of in terms of uh, effective mass is given by 4.85 into 10 to the power of 15 mp by m whole to the power of 3 by 2 t to the power of 3 by 2 per cubic centimeters and correspondingly you will get the value of p in the case of uh, p type semiconductor that is concentration of holes in p type semiconductor and this is concentration of electrons in conduction band and this is the concentration of holes in valence band okay so this is the concept of effective mass